Let's move over to Charleston Southern Buccaneers. Jay Mills, 7-5 and five last year, 12 returning starters. Junior college transfer Andrew Trudnowski will compete with Air Force transfer Andre McCain. No, I'm sorry. Trudowski is the quarterback who will compete. Well, uh, Charles Southern has to replace uh, Triple Reese, uh, quarterback. You know, so they have to replace him. They, they, but they do get with the new quarterback will get two top running backs returning. So that's going to help out a lot. They just lean on the running backs a little bit. Um, wide receiver Gerald Stevenson, 250 yards rushing and 500 yards receiving. So he's an athletic player. He can play both two positions. So he's going to be their playmaker. He's their dynamite playmaker they have on offense. Um, offensive line will need some time to catch up because uh, it's moving a lot of pieces around. But they do because uh, they lost, uh, you know, center Alex Bragg last season. So they they're gonna there's gonna be a makeshift offensive line for the first part of the season. So they're gonna have to get that together. But they do I do like Gerald Stevenson as well. Nine touchdowns as well too. Antoine Ivy, one of the running backs who can have an impact. Exactly. Air Force transfer Andre McCain was their leading tackler last year, and they were number. He was number two in the Big South. Well, they lose a lot of production on defense. You know, that pass rush has to be maintained. You know, they lost a lot of players on defense last season. They had a pretty decent secondary. So if they're can, if they able to do, you know, a little bit in the run defense department, as well as generate some pass rush that they had last season, they'll be okay because the secondary is going to catch a lot of balls. They're going to make some plays. They're going to get a lot of pass breakups. But I need that, that defense overall is, again, moving some pieces around, trying to get those guys in, in position to make plays. The Presbyterian Blue Hose, Harold Nichols, only their second losing season in 11 years last year at 4-8. and eight. Harold Nichols is now the new coach, 12 returning starters. Brandon Miley, their quarterback. Well, here's what Harold Nichols uh, has on his plate right now. They lose all the top wide receivers, number one. Number two, 95 yards a game rushing. That has to improve. That's pitiful. And three, they have inconsistent play at quarterback as well. You know, 17 touchdowns, 18 interceptions combined with two players. Their top rusher is gone as well. And the offensive line is inexperienced. On offense, look for Bresford during the struggle. They're going to need some time to get this stuff turned around. And defensive side of the ball, Chris Bowman and Brian Lenardi, their linebackers, need to anchor this soft defense. Well, those two guys are real good players. And the problem is they lost their two top tacklers. Uh, last season, so they're gone. Also, 34 points a game, 5.6 yards a carry. That has to improve as well. So offensively and defensively, they have to get it together. But I do like uh, Chris Bowman, 90 tackles, 3.5 sacks, and Brian Lenardi, 65 tackles. So those two guys on defense are going to have to carry that entire unit. And now time for our Big South pre predictions and previews. Who you got for Offensive Player of the Year? I'm going to take two guys, Offensive Player of the Year. I'm going to go with Edwin Goins and Conte Catino. Those two guys are going to carry Stony Brook. Anytime you have 2,500 yards rushing between two people, that's impressive. Those two guys will maintain that success and be the Players of the Year. I think it's going to be a cold Player of the Year with those two guys. I'm agree with you. I like Edwin Goins as my Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive side of the ball. Let's go with Mario Brown, the linebacker out of Gardner-Webb. I'm going to go with A.J. Gross, linebacker at VMI. Uh, that dude is insane. He's a star in the making. I like the way he plays the game. Also, offensively, I wouldn't sleep on Tim Mayper either. Tyler Santucci, look out for him at Stony Brook, the defensive player for Defensive Player of the Year. Now, for our predictions, our preview, our winners. Who are they? Winners, I'm going to take another shocker. I'm going to go with VMI. I think VMI would not only get their first win of the season in a while, but they will also win the conference. I think VMI has enough on offense, and second year in that 3-4 is going to provide some problems for a lot of teams. Wrong. It's the running Bulldogs of Gardner-Webb. They're going to take the Big South, my friends. <laughs> well, we split down the middle. We'll revisit this later at the end of the season. But I wouldn't be upset if Gardner-Webb win. They have a really good team. We'll see. We'll see. For more previews on FCS... Visit footballgameplan.com slash small colleges.